so this is the update on how they look. So you can see they're kind of growing out. Um, I have a lot of new growth here. And um, there's some that are really fuzzy, like these, for example. These are just, you know, right here, my hair's kind of poking out of them. Um, I did go ahead and add some little seashells, highly recommend, <laughs> um, or some gold pieces or whatever, just to make them you, you know, just to add some personality to them. But in all honesty, I would keep these in way longer. I, I think these are only halfway ready to come out. I just personally, I kind of miss my, my hair. And um, I also, I wanted to travel with my fro. So I decided to wait until I got here and then, you know, I can spend half the time with my hair in braids and then the other half with them in a big curly fro. But they are very versatile. You can flip them left, flip them right flip them back I put them in ponytails um, and they've just been you know completely out of the way so I love that one thing I can say about these braids that I didn't experience in my other two that I think is like a super plus is um, they're really easy to get wet and they're easy to dry I, I don't know if it's the knotless part or if it's just that they're skinny but um, honestly the, the hair dried as fast as my normal hair did so I went swimming in them I've taken, um, I've washed them twice in the shower. I've gone swimming in the pond, swimming in a swimming pool, swimming in the beach in them. So they're just, they really feel, they honestly feel like I just have hair all the way down to my hips, you know, past my hips. That's how, that's how this feels. So I can't wait to do these again. I was just telling my friend that I could, honestly, I could have these braids in the rest of my life. Like I could just take these out, put them back in. I love them that much, but I also, of course, love my natural hair. So I'm going to show you guys how to do all of that when I get back to my place. Okay, so we're almost back to the tree house. Okay, so here she is. And as you can see, it's kind of like elevated over. But we're basically just like living in the forest, so it's really cool. Okay, so here is our lovely bed and the living room, our kitchen, and our little our little baby gas stove that we've been working with. <laughs> um, my absolute favorite is the shower, I have to say. It's so cool because um, it was basically built like around this tree. So it's just, aw it's, it's inexplainable. Um, and then over here is the balcony actually probably tied with the shower for number one but and this is also where I'm gonna be filming my braid takedown the view is just so breathtaking and we're just locked in with screen doors so when it rains you know we're in the rain when it's sunny we're in the sun so it's just this whole thing has just been an amazing experience because I just feel so one with nature here I feel like you know this is what it is to live in the wild and I've had no regrets I love it all right so let's get started so for supplies all I'm using is my favorite hair mask which is the Shea Moisture castor oil a mini spray bottle of water jojoba oil on my scalp to nourish and condition it a wide tooth comb to easily and gently detangle my hair, my fingers, which are the best detangler, and of course a pair of scissors to cut that braid off so that we can start unbraiding. So I'm gonna start off simply using that jojoba oil and putting it all over my scalp, then massaging it in to make sure that my new growth is really moisturized and oiled and ready to be detangled. Next, I'm going to take out all of the little gold pieces, you know, seashells, accents, whatever you add to your hair, just to make sure it's really obvious where your natural hair stops. And as you can see, it's just, it's going to be really obvious on old braids, but it's going to be really fuzzy at one point, and you just cut right below that. This also saves you a lot of time because you don't have to unbraid all the way from the bottom. You can simply start exactly where you cut off. Now for my favorite part, chopping all those braids off at one time. Just double check, make sure that the, the scissors are far from your natural hair because you don't want to cut off all your new growth. 
but I love doing this. If you're more comfortable just doing it a few braids at a time, that's totally fine too. I just, I, it's almost like I get this rush of adrenaline from just chopping off a bunch of my hair at one time. So I recommend it. <laughs> also a major time saver tip is to go back on all those braids and just cut them directly under where your natural hair is. This way, again, you don't waste any time braiding any hair that isn't your natural hair and you can just kind of get straight to the point. All right, and looks like some animals are joining us today. This is the iguana. He usually comes out to say hi when it's a little bit cooler. And also some monkeys. This is probably the coolest thing I've seen on this entire trip. They really just treat our backyard like a little playground. So we got to see them wrestle and snuggle around. It's like we're living in a zoo. It was amazing. So now I'm just going to spray the ends of my hair to get them wet and a little bit easier to start unbraiding. And I'm going to take that hair mask and apply it directly onto the ends of my hair. I find that this makes them a little bit easier to unbraid and it also protects my hair and prevents it from split ends or any type of you know, damage from manipulating the hair once I start untangling it. And then again later once I shower and comb it out. All right, so the actual unbraiding of the hair, especially at the bottom, is quite simple. Uh, there's not too much you can do to damage your hair in this part. It's really the top you wanna focus on. And as you can see, once all of the hair is out and it's just my natural hair, instead of jumping to detangle it, I wet it with the water and then I apply the hair mask onto it. And basically what this does is it protects my hair strands from being broken off by a comb since the hair at the root is very fragile since it's been stuck inside of a braid for so long. So I find when I just put the hair mask on top of it and let it sit and then get back to detangling later, the hair is much stronger and much more moisturized and it can handle that detangling from an actual comb. So again, I'm just completely undoing the braid and making sure all of the added hair is out of it. And then I'm taking that hair mask and I'm applying it directly onto it, focusing especially at the roots and then combining those two unbraided strands of hair into one to kind of get rid of that part and help my hair form back into its natural curl instead of being parted for so long. Also, really quick, I just wanted to show you guys about how much hair is coming out per braid when I do it this method. It's barely even noticeable, and as you can see on my face, I'm very excited to see this. <laughs> Now towards the back, I did realize I had a bit more tangling at the roots from probably just buildup of, you know, either dirt or products that, you know, kind of make the hair stick together more. And so the best way to get rid of this is by adding a lot of water and just separating it with a lot of ease and a lot of patience and you shouldn't hear any hair ripping out that's usually a really bad sign so i just run my fingers through it and separate all the hairs so that the product can kind of run out of it and my hair can separate into just neat detangled strands without me even having to use the comb so I'm just going to go ahead and finish taking all of these braids out and as you can see it's like three pieces of hair coming out of each braid and this is because I use the feed in method and then the top of my hair is just simply my own hair braided. This is a bit of a project so if you want to sit in front of a movie, play some music, have somebody help you just to get it done as soon as possible because it's not a hard task it's just simply tedious work. And now that I've completely taken all of my braids out, I'm gonna go ahead and shower in this lovely tree house and um, detangle it with my comb so that I can get all of the knots and tangles out and get ready to style my hair in my normal hair routine. And my normal hair routine consists of these products used from left to right. So I start with the shampoo and I end with the gel. And that's ultimately what gives me the consistent results without having any harsh chemicals on my hair. Now, I think it's really important I be honest with you guys and show you exactly how much hair breakage I experienced because I know it's really scary and a lot of people don't want to talk about it, but honestly, I think if you know what's normal, then you won't be as scared if you see breakage because our hair breaks off naturally and when it's in a protective style, it's always stuck inside of the braid, so a lot of times that hair can't fall out and so you see it all when the braid comes out. 
So don't be alarmed if you see all this hair come out. It's natural, it's normal, and everybody who has braids longer than a couple weeks will experience it. And lastly, but certainly not least, this is the final product. And this is how my hair looks after I took out the braids. I'm gonna use jojoba oil again to just seal my ends and massage my scalp. I also want to note that the thickness of my hair, I didn't really see any difference in that, which is a really good sign that I didn't experience more breakage than need be or more breakage than is natural because I didn't experience any hair thinning from the braids, which is a really good sign because that means that my braids were healthy and I also took out the hair in a gentle, healthy manner. Also, I just wanted to note that this is my day one hair, so my fro is always a lot smaller and I have a lot of shrinkage the first day I wash my hair, but the third day, for some reason, it just blows up, so I'll show you guys that. And I don't really know why, but I'm not complaining because I love my natural hair, but I just wanted to show you kind of the process of having the braids the day after and then three days later. If you guys enjoyed seeing this footage from my trip to Costa Rica, you can follow my personal page at natasha.camille where I post a lot of tips on traveling and saving money and just getting the most out of your experience wherever you go. You can also find tips on all my favorite products and hair routines on my hair page at curly.strands. I really hope you guys found this video informative and helpful and at least learned one thing about taking care of your hair, whether it's in braids or natural. And please feel free to leave me suggestions for upcoming videos. Thank you.